Welcome back to Fallout 2 and we are here in the den because uh, at the end of last episode we were coming back here to give Carl the good news uh, but then the, the game crashed so uh, Vic is still crippled and uh, just to save you the trouble of watching me have to reload constantly because we're encountering things we can't kill uh, well um, I just got here first and then started up uh, but we're still gonna have to walk back to Modoc but we are here and we can talk to Carl. So there we go. What do you want? Uh, <laughs> ghost Carl, they're everywhere. Look, there's one right now. <laughs> um, tell Carl about what Joe said. You mean I can go home? No more ghosts? Carl breaks down and cries. Boy, nothing like seeing a grown man cry. Thank you, I can finally go home again. You gain 500 experience and three karma. All right, so good. Uh, Vic is still crippled, but w he'll have to deal with that. All right, let's uh, then let's just head back out. Uh, I guess uh, we should. Uh, we're gonna head back, and I did look up the the outhouse. Apparently, it's not bugged. It's it's working as intended. I'll go show you what it means uh, once we get there. Let me just save the game here. Uh, I guess I'll save it as Carl, because we're here for Carl. Okay, now. Let's head back to Modoc. Now, we're probably gonna have to do a few reloads here because uh, if we encounter 12 slavers, we die. Like, one turn dead. And we're on easiest difficulty right now because uh, just for this por portion where we're walking between the den and Modoc. Hmm, red scorpions. Can we escape? Let's try to escape. They just poison you so easily. Is Sulik actually gonna kill that one? Sulik killed that one. Okay, good. But we're running away. The poison will wear off. So we're heading back to Modoc, and then we're gonna go back to the outhouse. And we're gonna get the gold Chosen, pocket. What? The spirits of our ancestors guide me to a world of dreams that I may touch thoughts. Our village suffers without the holy Gek. Your hands hold our lives as a father holds his children. Well. It seems like we're running out of time then. Uh... Well, all this walking between Modoc and the Den has uh, used up a lot of time, actually. All right, well, let's uh, let's go to the back. Which one is it? Bed and breakfast? It's bed and breakfast. Uh, let's see if we can actually stay a night. I know we have to sleep to to cure crippledness, so doesn't seem like it. If I use a stim pack on Vic, will that heal him? Let's uh, let's try. Gonna quick save here. I hope we have enough time to find the Gek because uh, that's not looking so good. Um, let me grab a stim pack. If I use a stim pack on Vic, does you sure you know what you're doing? It doesn't help. <laughs> um, never mind. Let's go down. Let me show you why the this outhouse is not actually bugged. But I want to test something uh, because uh, we survived the explosions down there, which is very strange. Honestly, it should just straight up kill us. These rocks aren't supposed to disappear. Uh, let's see. We're gonna use this, we're gonna set the timer, and if we step out of this outhouse, this is what happens. The outhouse explodes, and we take a bunch of damage. Uh, we and I think something might be wrong with us, you better look at this limb. Is is Sulik crippled now as well? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, and it says here, you made it out of the hole just in time for the explosion to go off behind you, sending you flying through the air. And now the area is covered in goo. But actually, I want to try something. 
Uh, we survived inside before. So if we head down and I plant the dynamite. Let's see, where is it? We plant the dynamite. And we stay down here. Come on guys, to the corner. We'll re-equip that. And wait for the explosions. So all this is supposed to explode, yes. Good. And we're still around here. And if we step out now... Does the same thing happen? It does. Okay. Uh, but we didn't take any damage. Hey, would you look at that? Very nice. Okay. Quick save then. Now can we head right back down? We can. The rocks are gone. Very nice. There's just rocks everywhere here. Alright, now let's kill this thing. Oh, it, it sees us from miles away. Can I... Hit it for 12 hit points. That's pretty good. So this is the first time I'm trying out this new rifle. It's got three hit points left. Uh, what's on my other hand right now? Uh, I'm just gonna wait here, I think. So I can give it a stab. Or Suli can kill it. Very well. Is it dead? Good. 160 experience. For destroying your enemies without taking a scratch, you earn 100 and- oh, you get bonus experience for not taking damage? I didn't know that. Anyway, let's take this fruit. There's Cornelius' gold watch. And there's a shovel. And I don't think there's anything else down here. Alright. Well, we got Cornelius' gold watch and we've told Carl the good news, so I guess we're pretty much done here. I'm not too sure what's inside the bed and breakfast's uh, secret chamber. Okay, now I could give the watch straight to Cornelius, but maybe I want to give it to Farrell here? Hello, now what? Uh, actually, let, let's have a look at the watch first. Cornelius's gold watch. This is an ancient timepiece known as a pocket watch. Time ran out for this keepsake many long years ago. All right. Uh, let's see. Is this the watch you were looking for? Let me see that. Yes, this is it. You said a rat living down the sewage hole stole it, and you climbed down there and retrieved it? Ew, I'm gonna have to give this to Cornelius right now. Now we can be friends again. Thank you. 1,500 experience points. You peacefully solved the feud between Farrell and Cornelius. Fantastic. Where'd you get the money for new tools? Oh, I could still ask that. Did Miria tell you about that? I'd have to spank her bottom for spreading rumors again. Look, I may be poor, but I have my pride. I helped one of the traders fix his wagon. Okay. <laughs> we, we know where the watch was. Alright, let's go talk to Cornelius. So we get extra experience points for solving that. I could have given the watch straight to Cornelius. You see how how it's so great that Fallout 2 has these these multiple sort of pathways to the storyline? All right, so let me talk to Cornelius. Hello there, have we met? Uh, I'm interested in getting a room. I have a room, I sleep over there. Where do you sleep? Uh... I saw Johnny playing by the well with his log daddy. Oh, he, uh, with with his dog laddie, yeah. Um, and okay. Uh, actually, could I actually get a room from him? Rose room running. No. All right, so I think we're pretty much done here. I don't think I'm gonna. I, I can't figure this out right now, but this whole area is now covered with goo. I wonder if that matters at all. There's just goo everywhere. And by goo, I'm pretty sure it means outhouse material. Uh, 
Oh, goodbye. And because we reloaded, uh, Sulik didn't actually take any damage. I think that, that, that does actually make sense. If you stay in the well and it blows up, but you manage to hide behind a, a wall or something, you don't take any damage. But if you climb out of the well and then it blows up, then you're blasted away. So that, that does sort of make sense. We, we did manage to avoid that. Okay, so I think we're done with Modok, which means we can head on out to our next location. And actually, wait a minute. I have armor, don't I? That's uh, Vic. Do you have a melee weapon? Take that knife. You can take that. And let's talk to you. Combat control. Use best armor. Use best weapon. Done. That's it for now. Ah, oh, look at that. He's wearing leather armor. <laughs> Very cool. All right. So things didn't go perfectly in Modoc. Laddie the dog died, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure I did have to go and see Carl before... Where is... Vic, you coming? Oh, I guess he'll come with. Alright, uh, let's move on then. Now, Gecko. Oh, that's uh, the place which that guy mentioned. But I think we can head on over to Vault City. Let's hope we don't have to reload too many times to make this trek across the wastes. So we'll check out Gecko at some point if we have time, but we got to get to Vault City because that's where Vic got the Vault 13 stuff. So someone, uh, apparently a Brahmin, ooh, an unknown encounter. What is this? You received a large dose of radiation. I'm gonna have to buy some right away when I when I get out of here, but it's just a. It looks as if this person died very painfully. All right. Um, I guess we have to deal with this. It is a special encounter, I think. Let's, uh... We don't have to kill everything here. And what is that thing? It just says you see nothing out of the ordinary. I think that's slightly crippled, but it's got 80 hit points. I'm not sure if I can deal with this, actually. Alright, let's, uh... Let's kill that one. Do we... I don't think I can kill all of these things. And especially with Vic... I might have to reload, actually. This is an interesting encounter, but... I don't think I can survive this quite yet. Not with... receiving the radiation. I received another large dose of radiation. This is really harsh, actually. Okay, let me try reload that. Let's uh, let's try go to the vault city again, and see if we get a different sort of encounter because that that that's actually rather harsh. That's almost as bad as meeting twelve slavers like this. You encounter some moonshiners. They didn't attack us actually. Baka, baka, baka. They're moonshiners. They have a still. We sell only the highest quality liquor. You interested? Oh. It's not a bunch of gangsters. How many of them are there? There's one back there. All right, um, don't suppose we, anything's in the still. No? Okay, well, I guess we're, we'll continue on our way. Moonshine is not so bad. All 
All right, now. Looks like we're not encountering that radiation and geckos anymore. Unless this is it. Oh, sh damn. Okay. Uh, this might kill us. If I can escape and no one dies, we'll keep going. Sulik's gonna die, isn't he? <laughs> That's just too much. Difficulty is still on easy, by the way, in case you're wondering. No, they died. Okay, fine. And Sulik's gonna die right here. Let's redo that. We gotta try again. Let's make it to Vault City. Alright, let's hope we we only encounter things that we can escape from. And this is when, you know, my perception is actually relatively high. Having high perception is supposed to give you, like, a better positioning when you meet things. Ah, oh, come on. What? Who are they shooting at? Geckos. Well, hopefully they shoot the geckos while I escape. Slavers use jet. They use jet before combat. Maybe I should be using jet before combat. Alright, it seems like these guys are off to fight those geckos. This might actually be a good chance to try and kill these guys, but with Vic crippled and I'm honestly not that well equipped. I might just want to get out of here. All right, all those guys are preoccupied with the geckos. I'm off. To Vault City. Since we're almost there, I, I want to see what Vault City looks like. Here we go, entering Vault City. Let's do a quick save. All right, let's talk to the guards. No? Talk to Wallace if you're looking to get into the city. This is like a, a guard area, I suppose. By the way, Vic, are you dying from this cripple? Crippled limbs, no. Okay. Let's walk inside. Can you guys make it in? Seems like Vic can't run. Didn't I get a... Like a medical pack at some point? I don't think I would have sold something like that. No. I don't know how to kill Vic of his crippled limbs, but this place is very well defended. They got these auto turrets and all sorts of things. Now, I'm supposed to talk to Wallace, is it? One of the courtyard's grungy residences. Who's in here? No one? There's some lockers. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, the lockers are locked. Alright, that's fine. Don't see anyone here. There's something back there. This guy is sleeping? That guy's Charlie. I lost my friend while playing in the courtyard. His name is Mr. Nixon. That's something out back. That's... Oh, Mr. Nixon doll. You see a small doll with a big red nose. For some reason, you don't trust this seemingly innocent child's toy. <laughs> uh, well, I found your Mr. Nixon. I lost Mr. Nixon. I don't know where I left him. Hmm... 
that I could pull off his arms. I have Mr. Nixon right here, but you know what? I think Mr. Nixon should be punished for going off on his own. Some ritual dismemberment may be in order. Uh, no. Uh, this him? He was looking for you two. You found him! You found Mr. Nixon! Sure I did. He didn't get far. Now keep an eye on, it, uh, on him from now on, okay? 100 experience points. Who's this? What do you want? Are you okay? You look upset. Well, I... I... It's my husband Joshua. He got into some trouble in the bar. He accidentally struck a citizen and was arrested. He didn't mean to. He'd been drinking and... Uh... Arrested? Where is he now? Inside the city in the Servant Allocation Center. They said he could work off his prison sentence as a servant, but that'll take years. What can be done? I don't have much money left, and we'll have to leave soon if we can't afford to pay the guards for protection. They said if we want to stay with Joshua, then they could make us servants too. Ah, damn it. Uh, maybe I can talk to someone at the allocation center. The man in charge is Barkus, Officer Barkus. I couldn't even get inside the city to see him. I don't even know if Joshua is alright. I Don't worry, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Let's head into the bar. We'll check out this area. Let's talk to the guy behind the bar. You see Cassidy. Well now, Ooh. ain't seen you around before, stranger. Name's Cassidy. I run this place. What can I do for you? Cassidy. What have you got on tap? Anything interesting going on around here? Interesting. <laughs> Friend, Vault City ain't an interesting place. Unless the guards get bored, then you better take cover. Why are you asking? You looking for something in this sinkhole? Hmm. Actually, I'm looking for the vault. Vault? Only vault I know of is the one inside the city. Big friggin' hole. You can't miss it, trust me. Alright, um... What do you have to drink here? Beer for 20, shot of whiskey for 30. Nothing special. Why, you want something? Let's check his bottle. Uh, he doesn't seem to have all that interesting... Rot gut. Um, interesting dialogue option. I mean, he's a voiced character, but... I don't see any interesting dialogue options, no. Anything I want to sell? This stuff's worth some. That's 63. Let's put one of those down. Oh, that's worth too much. Alright, 63. Always pick up a little bit of extra cash. Always nice. So, Cassidy, um... Thanks anyway. Now, Vic, we were looking for one of your friends, right? I need to ask you something. Where's your friend Ed again? He should be around here somewhere. Ed, huh? Okay. Ooh, there's a back room. Anything interesting? Guns and Bullets, Cat Paw Magazine. There's actually a lot of Guns and Bullets magazines. I'm not sure if there, there will be any use. Maybe I could sell them. Oh, there's a clinic here. Let's see if we can get Vic fixed up. Dr. Andrew. Doctor with quote marks. Doctor with quote marks means quick save. You here to get patched up? Well, I'm fine, but what is this place? This is a common body shop for Vault City. Me and the, the old doctor in the back patch up whoever needs some attention. Old doctor? Yeah, the auto doctor in the back room. It's a loner from the city. It can get little or ornery sometimes, but mostly it does the job. Mostly. Ornery, huh? Maybe I'll go take a look at it. What is this machine? The autodock. You see an ancient looking autodock. It is clicking and whirring unhealthily, and a great deal of heat is emanating from it. Could I repair it? You examine the autodock, but you can't seem to figure out the problem. Alright. 
Isn't there anywhere where we can just, like, have a rest? Who's this? You see a ragged looking farmer. Don't think I've seen you around here before, stranger. The name's Smith. Uh, help you with something? Can you tell me about Vault City? Well, what you see here ain't really Vault City. You're actually standing in the city's courtyard. Why aren't you in the city? Me and the family ain't the kind of people they let in there, so we live here under their protection. Why aren't you allowed to live in the city? Well, we're from the wasteland, like yourself, so all we can get is protection from Vault City. What kind of protection? They keep us safe from the outside, but it costs me and the wife quite a lot. And without a plow, well, making ends meet is difficult. Can I help with the plow? You'd help people like us? We can't offer much, but we sure would appreciate it. Uh, no problem. I'd like to help. Well, thank you, kindly stranger. Do you know where I can find a plow? There's one over near the guns and ammo store. Harry might be selling it. I'll have a look. Okay. Now there's this little house here. Guns and ammo store. Is it the place with the Happy Harry's sign? Hello? Who's this? You see a gap-toothed man in a dirty blue shirt. He smells strongly of Brahmin. Ah, is this Ed? Well, hello there, stranger. I'm Ed. I'm the local Brahmin dealer. Help you with something? Ah, my friend Vic here says he bought a water flask from you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. It's been a long time. Vic, a water flask, huh? What about it? Uh, he said he sold a water flask to you? You got it? Maybe that could spark my memory. Ah, yes, we need a water flask. Sulik should be holding on to it. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Water flask from you. Can you tell me where the flask came from? You know, I can't quite recall. I had a bunch of them for a long time. I think I picked them up during one of my Brahmin drives. Didn't need them much when I settled down. Brahmin drives? Well, when I was a lot younger, I used to drive Brahmin through the big circle. Broken Hills, New Reno, Redding, The Den, Modoc, then back here. It just got too dangerous after a while, so I settled here. Where are these places? Let me mark it on your map. See, Broken Hills is south. Uh, bear west on the trail from there, and you'll hit Reno. Northwest O Reno is Redding. Then it's north to the Den, east to Modoc, then east to here, Vault City. Any of ideas? Any idea which of these places you got the flask from? Can't remember. I'm looking for the Volk vault that it came from. Well, hell, if it's a vault you're looking for, then there's one inside the walls of Vault City. Vault 13 is inside the city. Well, now I don't know if it's 13 exactly. But there's a vault. If that ain't the one you're looking for, the vault's central computer might know where the others are. The damn near listed everything in it. Alright, any other questions I can ask? What do you do around here? Sell Brahmin to people who need them. Help me pay rent of this place. Okay. Thanks for the information. So we found a bunch of places that we can go. Reading and New Reno, we already kind of knew where it was. But there is a vault in this city, so we might be able to check this out. Let's see. Inside of Happy Harry's sign, we see a short, jovial man. Why, hello there. What can I do for you? Uh, you still selling that plow out there? Why, yes, I am. I'll let it go for, say, 800. 800? Let me, let me see what he's got on him. What ammo am I using right now? Five millimeter? He's got some nice guns and stuff. But 800's a lot. I might wanna come back to that. Uh, don't suppose I could look around. There's a door here. Nothing in the back room? Alright, so we've looked at all of these sort of early buildings here. We're not actually in Vault City quite yet, but there's a couple of things. We've, we've got to save a husband from inside Vault City. We gotta buy a plow there, and we gotta heal up Vic if possible. But let's uh, let's check out this next area. 
So customs, okay. Stop right there, friend. No one is allowed past this point without proper authorization. Proper authorization? Yes, proper authorization. If you want to get into Vault City, you need to speak to Wallace, head of customs. He can issue you, issue you a day pass. Where can I find Wallace? Wallace is in the customs building right over there. What's a day pass? A day pass will get you into the city if you've got business here. Now move along if I... I don't have time to talk to Outworlders. Okay. You say the same thing? Alright. <clears throat> oh, something's in my throat. Well, before we go through that main door, let's have a look in here. Hello? A stern looking guard. Alright. So, Vault City looks pretty impressive. It's a real city. Did they use a Garden of Eden creation kit to make this? It might be. All right, let's see about customs. Where is what's his name? Wallace. Through here. Wallace, you here? Is Wallace not here? I don't see Wallace. Don't suppose I could lockpick that. No, don't think I'm getting through that. Um, I don't see Wallace. Is he only here at certain times? Do I have to wait for daytime? Let's find out, I guess. Um, let's go to our pip boy. You cannot rest at this location. Can I rest out here? All right, let's rest for three hours. Ah, there's people here during the day. Hello, who are you? Um, Wallace's assistant, Skeev. Look, outsider, if you've got customs business, Wallace is in the back there, okay? He'll set you uh, up with all the forms you need. Um, what is this place? This is the customs office, like the sign says outside. If you haven't got customs business, what are you doing here? I was looking for the vault. The vault? It's inside the city. Why? You're looking to get past the gate? Um, yes. Well, you could go see my boss Wallace and try to get permission to get inside. But you'd be wasting your time. He never lets anybody in. Of course, there are other ways. What other ways? If you got the cash, then I'll go into detail. Otherwise... Um, I got the money. What are you selling? For 200 bucks, I can make you a full-fledged citizen. You'll have free passage through the gate, no hassles. I can print out the papers, register your serial number, and have you on your way in five minutes. Uh huh, sounds good. What does it take to become a real citizen? If you're not born a citizen, then you have to take a test to become a citizen. Number of outsiders that have taken the test and become a citizen, zero. Your chances, less than zero. What is this test? Gregory, the proconsul, gives a test to any outsiders who want to become citizens. It measures their intelligence and perception, and you have to be damn lucky to pass it too. Most citizens would have trouble with it. So what makes it so hard? Since most outsiders can't read, do trigonometry or spell Australopithecus, you figure it out. It's just an excuse to keep outsiders from becoming citizens. Hmm. We could try to take the test. Let's talk to... You see a thin man with a pinched face. He is wearing a sharply pressed vault suit. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Vault City. Is there anything I can help you with? Who are you? My name is Wallace. I'm the customs officer for Vault City. I accommodate those who wish to conduct business within our great walls. I'd like to enter the city. If you want to enter Vault City, then you'll need a good reason. Only a Vault citizen has the right to come and go as they please. All others must procure a day pass. What's a day pass? For those who need to deal directly with the merchants of the first citizen are given a day pass. Only those with a day, pa day passes can enter the city. Uh huh. I need to speak to the first citizen. Who's the first citizen? 
Our first citizen is Joanne Lynette. She has done many good things for our city in her 10 years of service, such as she has kept our city untainted by the outside world. Even with NCR pressuring us to join the Republic and the Raider attacks, she has kept our city strong. Now there are troubles with Gecko. Who are these raiders? Recently we have experienced a rash of particularly brutal raider attacks. We have had attacks in the past, but nothing like this. I fear these raiders might eventually breach our laser turret defenses. What was that about the NCR? NCR is the New California Republic. They claim they are attempting to unify all of California under one government, but we can see right through their pathetic ruse. Ruse? Are you sure? Even if they were sincere, why would we want to share our resources with the cutthroats and thieves that live outside these walls? I think not. Mm-hmm. What troubles is Vault City having with the Gecko? Oh, uh, that's not my place to say. You'd have to speak with the first citizen about such matters. Okay. What can you tell me about uh, your leader? First citizen is Joanne Lynette. She has done many good things. Uh, can you tell me anything else about these raiders? Not much. We can't seem to find where they are striking from. Our citizen Sergeant Stark may know more, but he's in the correction center inside the city. If I track down these raiders, would you let me inside the city? Certainly. If you had, if you can find the raiders' base camp, I'll grant you a day pass. I'll see what I can do. But first, I had some other questions. I'd like to... what goods do you receive? What goods do you receive from the caravans? Uranium from Broken Hills, Metal Ore from Redding. What can you tell me about the den? Mm -hmm. Broken Hills. Broken Hills is a mining town to the south. Mutants mine the uranium and ship it here. Redding. Redding is a mining town to the west. The caravans... Uh huh. Recently shipments are slowed considerably. Okay, and what else can we ask? I'd like to enter the city. It's very important you let me speak to your leader. Well, of course, everyone desires an audience with the first citizen. Sadly, her time is only for matters of utmost importance. Never mind then. How do I take that test to become a citizen? I could turn him in for... Selling fake citizenship papers. Huh. Well, we, we've gone quite a while now. And I think I can take a break, but we've managed to reach Vault City. And just before we go, I'd like to have a look at the map where all these other locations are. So let me head back out here. We could buy the fake citizenship papers. That might work, but that might backfire on us. We could turn that guy in. And if we turn him in, that might also work, but it might also backfire on us. Now let's see, where are these other locations? There's Broken Hills, there's New Reno, there's Redding, and Modoc, the den. Alright, so there's a lot of locations here, and they're very far away from each other. But alright, uh, I think we can take a break here. So I'm gonna take a break. And uh, uh, we need to basically get through Vault City. There is a vault inside the city, but I think they would have already used their Gek. So I'm not sure if uh, we have enough time to get the Gek. I really don't know, but uh, oh well. Uh, let's take a break. Hope you enjoyed watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next video.